Kharkiv burns at night. This is the reality for many Ukrainians still left in the country's second largest city. Shelled by Russian forces whilst they slept. Emergency services stretched to capacity as shells rain down in the middle of the night. Our night starts with police as they patrol the streets, on the lookout for what they say are Russian saboteurs. We've been given access to this special unit of the police force that patrol the city past curfew, making sure there's no threats behind those front lines, reassuring people that the police are still operating and taking care of Kharkiv. But nothing has prepared them for what they are doing now. This is my first time at war. I haven't experienced anything like this before. I've been to Donetsk and Luhansk, but what I've experienced here has shocked me. We work with the people. We detain looters. We caught saboteurs. We never did anything like this. If we were not guarding the rear, it would be difficult for the Ukrainian military on the front line. We come across a burning house. The constant thud from Russian artillery is ever present. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Then we see a flash of light in the sky. Look, incoming, he shouts. The police arrive on the scene. So the shell has just hit. The police have arrived. They're letting people know that they're here and making sure everybody is okay. Has it just hit, he asks. Yes, I'm not crying, I'm not crying, she says. Quiet, quiet, he says. It's going to be okay. We're here now. Across the street, windows were blown out. Are you alive, she shouts. Yes, comes the reply. I'm alive. They're unhurt. It could have been far worse. Police hear reports of another building being hit. We're the first there. It's unclear if there are any casualties. The shocked survivors leave the block of flats. My mom and dad need to get out of there. Can somebody call them? The police try to distract the children and make them feel better. A moment of laughter amongst the madness that ensues around them. One woman refuses to go to the underground station used as a bomb shelter. This is her home. The explosion hit. My wife was thrown out of the bed. We came out and the entrance was on fire. More buildings burn. Suddenly, there's more incoming shelling. We make a run for it. But for the people who live here, there is no escape. They face being hit by Russian bombardment at any time and any place. Asal Beg, Al Jazeera, Kharkiv. Well, let's speak live to Asad Beg now, who is still in Kharkiv. Asad, I mean, it's, it's really something to see that package, your piece there, seeing what people really are going through in the city, with Russia announcing its next phase, what can the people of Kharkiv expect? Well, there's a real fear here that there's going to be a renewed offensive as Russia announces that it wants to liberate, as they call it, the Donbass region, which is in the east of the country. Now, if they do that, if they regroup and there is this new phase, well, Kharkiv, this city, could see a more intense situation. Now, it's already intense as it is. We can't keep up with the amount of places that are getting shelled or hit by missiles or heavy artillery. Uh, so these people could face a very, very difficult situation. But also, it's strategic 
for Russia. They want to secure the Donbas region. They want to secure Mariupol and a land corridor, a land bridge to the Crimea Peninsula, which they annexed back in 2014. But also some experts believe that they want to cut off the bulk of the Ukrainian military that's in the east, around 50,000 of the Ukrainian military fighting there to encircle them. And that would mean taking Kharkiv and working their way down. Now, if that happens, the Ukrainian forces will be cut off. But the real fear is, here is that one third of the city has already left. But if the Russians have a new defensive and intensify the shelling and try to take the city, it could result in a real difficult humanitarian situation for the people still remaining. All right, thank you for that update there. Asad Beg, live for us in Kharkiv.